if you guys were going to graph this, um, y equals square root of x minus 2. Now, there is a constraint, but you guys, you know this constraint makes sense because if x was less than 2, it would not be undefined, right? So remember what the graph of a, of a radical looks like? Basically, looks like this. That is the square root of x. So if we're just shifting this over two units, you just draw the same graph, and then shift it over two units, right? Does everybody see how like, easy it was for me to graph that? Right? I mean, you got to know what the parent graph is. Remember, I, I used to have it up there. You have to know what the parent graph is, and you literally take the parent graph and shift it two units to the right, because that is your transformations, correct? Um, the domain of this example, domain is going to be from 2 to infinity. And the range is going to be from 0 to infinity. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's a bracket 2. 2 to infinity and 0 to infinity. Okay. Now let's go ahead and find y inverse. Now there's a couple ways we could do this. Now we know what the graphical way to do it. We could reflect this about the y equals x line. But let's algebraically do it just to make sure we understand again what we're doing. So again, remember to algebraically find the inverse. You swap your x and your y's. I'll swap my constraint as well. And then I basically solve for y. So I got to undo the squaring. So I'll square both sides. So therefore, I'm left with x squared equals y minus 2. Add 2, add 2 y equals x squared plus 2. And then my constraint will come down with me. y is greater than or equal to 2. Okay, So the constraint doesn't really affect like you solving, but it still is there. So this reverse looks like this, 1, 2. But remember, uh, the, oh, I'm sorry, that's still, I'm sorry, that's still going to be x to the y is greater than 2. Um, x is greater than 2, so your constraint is still only going to be the positive form of this. So it's only going to be when x is positive. So the constraint is still when y is greater, y is positive, y is greater than or equal to 2. But it's only going to be the positive form of that. So it's going to look something like this. Uh, my line's kind of a little rough. should be like that. Right? And then let's look at the domain and range here. The domain is going to be from 0 to infinity. And the range is going to be from 2 to infinity. And you guys see that the domain and range are swapped? Do you guys see that? Yes? OK. So that's kind of the important thing I wanted to cover up with you guys on this.